Hello everyone! Marble Jester losing his mind here. Uh, welcome to Let's Play Parasite Eve. Now this is something uh, that I have played before, although uh, yeah, it, it certainly is fun playing it again. And again, and again, and again, and again. And you'll know what I mean, as it does offer a lot of replay value. But let's see this ominous scene. July something -ith. Come to think of it, I don't know what's written on the tablet of the uh, Liberty. Statue of Liberty. I know there's a complete symbology there, but uh, like most people, I just know it as simply Liberty, you know? Train. Lovely PS1 graphics. PS1 uh, uh, does the most for me when it, does to, when it goes to charm. See, it's Christmas time. You can tell by the gorgeous lights. 1997. Ah, okay, yeah. As I remembered it, as I remembered it, this was uh, supposed to be like Y2K period, but I guess I was wrong just a few years earlier. Now this is our heroine right here, the beautiful Aya Brea. A bit of a uh, ethnically unique name. Yeah, I'm not, not sure about the realism. What's wrong? You're the one who wanted to come to the opera. Uh, the realism coming to the fact that uh, she is a New Yorker. A New York babe. Name Aya Brea, age 25. Occupation, NYPD officer. All right, and uh, we'll keep it at that. Yeah, just Aya. I named her like something ridiculous before. I like I forget. Was it? I don't know if I named her after myself or just something silly. But yeah, I don't know. I just you're right. I'll try to have more fun. She's off about something. She ain't getting good feelings. Oh, pardon, pardon my reach. Aren't you glad you decided to go out with me? Oh, he's a smooth operator. I even had my dad get the best seats for us tonight. So lighten up, we're gonna have a great time, you'll see. Very formal. Willing to mention parents on a date. Even though I imagine that's the last time you wanna talk about your parents. Cause parents are gross, parents are gross. I forbid it. You know well what will happen if you do. Those who come to her beauty all die in horrible ways. A little succubus thing, eh? You don't understand. I'm too naive to get it. She is evil. God, grab her. And burn her at the stake. Oh my. I wonder, is this an actual play they're quoting? Because I don't think so. Father, if you are sentencing her to death, then I ask you to take my life along with hers. Edward, oh! Ooh, that beautiful something bit music.
Beautiful. Best opera I've ever seen. Oh yeah. Jesus! I don't wanna. Oh my god, I, I, I. Go! Get out of here! Now! Ah! Exclamations are difficult. Sorry, I'm mouth breathing, aren't I? I was just going <laughs> without consideration. Freeze! NYPD! <laughs> You're the only one who seems to be fine. Ellipsis. What? I don't know what the sound effect. I don't know what the onomatopoeia for uh, question marks is. You should be awakening soon. Ellipsis. What? Ellipsis. What are you talking about? Question mark. Listen, your cells are trying to communicate. They're calling out. Uh-oh, an immediate boss battle. That's how hardcore this game is. Oh yeah, that's right, I can shoot. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho, ellipsis. What's happening? My body, it's... It's getting hot. Just as I thought. What is this? What did you do to me? Hold on a second. My ears are just freaking out. I gotta turn that shit down. Eh, what's up, Dantris? Ah, no, I'm scared. Alright, this is how you dodge, you just meander around like a fool. Alright, increased chance of a critical hit the closer you are to them. Pretty simplistic, but it begins to uh, develop as it goes on. Our bodies are communicating with each other. Ew! What? Communicating what? What do you want? The more you use that power, the more you'll become like me. Power? What power? Who are you? Eve. Eve. I'm surprised you don't know me, Aya. You should know me well. What? What? What is this? What was that? <laughs> well, wait, where are you going? I'm not through with you yet. Uh, I'm gonna help her. I mean, I'm gonna chase her. This big conspicuous hole. Hmm, I wonder where she went. I know she's down there, I think she said. Alright, I got backup. Awesome, I'm not gonna wait for him though. Hey, little girl. Are you alone? It's dangerous here. You should go. And she just lets her vanish. That just goes to show. If it's that casual for her, she's probably screwed up. That girl, it couldn't be. What couldn't be? Is this normal for you? That you can just stand there and question it? Whatever. immediate creepy atmosphere. I fucking love this game. All games of this style. As a matter of fact, as we speak, I'm downloading Dino Crisis. I'm gonna give that a shot. I've, I know absolutely nothing about it, so that should just be a spectacular adventure. Pitter patter, pitter patter. I love mice. Not this mouse, though. Not ones that roar like T-Rex eye. Why are they making bird noises, too? Like they're little germs. Like... Holy sh... 
Yeah, some of the cutscenes in this game are actually pretty freaky. Ew. It's like when one gets squeezed by a snake, their like guts start spewing out. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's gross. Okay, I thought I couldn't move for a second there. Uh, like, my, something may have been wrong with my controller. And you see, it's attacks like that that are kind of out of place and ridiculous. Like, as far-fetched of a sci-fi this is, they're, they're just, unless it's magic, that just isn't merited. Jesus, did Eve do that to the rat? What is going on here? How could you have that hunch? Like, uh, unless you distinctly know that she's like a witch or something off the bat. How did... Oh, whatever. I mean, even if she did burn a bunch of people down. Like, how? How? How could you have that hunch? Alright, I'm gonna check these lockers. Forget the hunch. Oh, that one made a sound effect. There's something in there. Alright. No? I guess the first two are just jerking off. Uh, erg. Oh, you want dibs on the last locker, eh? Well, no dice. So what's the matter with you? You're still alive? Hold on, let me call the paramedics. M Melissa. She's a monster. Don't try to talk now. Melissa? Melissa. You mean the main actress? Ah! I mean, I'm just a bunch of ginger ale Bits conglomerating in my mouth. She probably got to Zan's too. You have to stab her. No, please wake up. Head in there. No, no, I'm not gonna do that voice. Forget it. Uh, actress. Oh, jeez. Uh, th that clown actually kind of freaks me out. Like, if you were imagining him like, more detailed and realistic. Oh, here, take it. Take everything. It's all on the counter. Don't scare me. I'm with the NYPD. You're the one that scared me, lady. I was just getting ready. You know, only staff are allowed in here. There was an incident here. You'll have to evacuate. What? You're kidding, right? Hey, I'm not dying here tonight. See ya. Yeah, that clown freaks me out. Ah, yeah, better off dead. I hate clowns. Unless it's done just right, then it looks kind of cool. But if it's not done in a video gamey kind of way, then clowns are just blech. Like, I've never found clowns funny. Like, they're either disgustingly creepy, or they're, like, cool looking if they're done just right, like, with armor pieces. Like that, uh, bomb-throwing clown in Adventure Quest. Those enemies, those guys are cool. Or like, you know, like the, like the black streak tear marks going down their cheeks. Like, that's always cool. But otherwise, like, they're freaky. I, know, I have no idea if someone can find clowns funny. Although, clown-like anthropoid animals I find really funny. Like that one Looney Tunes short, uh, Kitty Cornered. I'd better notify the department about what's happened here. And that's your excuse for saving your progress. Yeah, he, he like came back in uh, Tiny Tunes. Oh yeah, I named her Claire. Okay, I was, I was, I was expecting like dick butt, you know, because my memory failed me and I expected worse of myself, but here we go, unused file. File well, saved, okay, cool, thank you. Uh, someone dead here. Did you have something on you? No? Okay. Oh, I just realized what happened there. Me and my stupid deductive skills. He was like trying to call the police. Oh my lord, that is so sad. Oh yeah, the clown died. I gotta go. He's probably got keys. Uh-oh. Another encounter. Encounters don't work like uh, they do in Final Fantasy. They're actually like environmental. Like, they take place exactly where you are, not in an alternative screen. Hey, I'm gonna shoot you. Reload. Ow, bitch. 
Level up, all right. Look at my stats, huh? Level up, 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 It's that clown from the dressing room. Ha ha ha. How's that for funny? Y'all check again. I sort of psych you out the first time. We gotta check. No? Because I was expecting something different. The clown from the dressing room, eh? I expected him to have a key on him. But I don't know. I, my memory is failing me. Because now that, that's a good excuse to, uh, Play this game once more. All right, well then I guess, yeah. No! I don't like refusal. I don't take it well. Did I miss something in the, uh, save room? Because it can't be this elaborate. <laughs> I don't remember. Here. Ah! That actually startled me a little. Pick up the key, sweetie. What's this key? It's a key! Maybe you could use it on a door, like any other key. Yeah. Now fuck this fool, and let's go. Alright, here's the key. Lore! Read the lore! A diary? November 3rd, Monday. The Christmas show is set. This has been my dream. The main actress has a solo concert at the theater in Central Park. I took all that medication to get here. I have to get the lead part. I'll even sell my soul to the devil if I have to. Ooh, foreshadowing. But not quite. November 17th, Monday. The cast was announced and Suzanne and I are double cast. I want to play the part alone, but everyone knows she's good. November 21st, Friday. I think I'm overdoing it. My body's getting hotter than ever for some reason. I'd better take more medicine. December 6th, Saturday. I collapsed today. I lost consciousness after my body got hot. I don't care if I die. I just want to get through this show. December 10th, Wednesday. I passed out again. They told me to go to the doctor and get some rest. If this continues, Suzanne will definitely take my part. I need to get better. I'd bet I'd better take a lot of medication tonight. Oh, that's not good mentality. Doctor's orders. December 11th, Thursday. Suzanne was burned in an apartment fire. Is it because I wanted the part so bad? God forgive me. December 17th, Wednesday. Looks like I'll be the lead. I'd better take more medication and work it. Open at night, everything went smoothly. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. We should have the biggest crowd of the season. And I have the solo concert the next day at the park. But I'm not feeling well. I better shape up if I want to get through this. I better take more medication. Of course! Of course it's here. Of course. For what? Why is she taking so much? She must have a drug problem. Another key? Cool. I like keys. Keys are good. I don't know. What's in here? Does she have skeletons in the closet? Ammo! She's got ammo in the closet.
Hey, baby. Blow some of that jazz my way. I'm Melissa. I'm no. I'm I. I am. I am Eve. I, I'm. I'm getting hot. Nucleic domination has finally come to an end once and for all. What? again and that is probably the most ridiculous monster transformation I've ever seen I'm gonna be honest like her hair turns to horns that aren't actually horns the day for the mitochondria to be free has finally arrived nice hands though those are cool hello hello don't kill me hello holy cow Yeah, the trick is to stand still, then try to uh, do an appropriate movement just to try and cope. Oh, like that, but... Like, I don't know, you have to walk or something. I hate walking. Oh, she swatted me dead. Broke my back. Bitch. Oh, well, whatever. We'll be right back. All right, baby, we're back. Uh, here's item, medicine, use on me, because I'm special. Good, I got a critical hit anyway. I'm good. Looks like you still need some time, girl. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, to your mitochondria is completely free. My Crash Bandicoot download just ended. Mitochondria? What are you saying? I don't understand you. What? Where is this? Is that is that the little girl I saw? No, it's And him. Who's him? That doctor. Wait. Mitochondria to be free? Hmm. Where'd she go? Jump in? Yeah, again. So wacky. This game's wacky. Heavenly Gate. That is creepy. And there's like a peace sign too. Alright. Oh, 
I got about a level up, huh? I heard sniffling. Who's sniffling? Oh, big gaping frog. Coo. Nah, girl. Come get this girl. Yo, what's up, girl? I got some for you, girl. Come get some, girl. Level up, alright, I'm getting level up, level ups like the Dickens. M191181. Like, I'm supposed to know what that is. I guess I failed that math test. Uh, let's see, change weapon. What is this, anyway? Oh, it's another pistol, but it's like a better one. Nato! Kermit the Frog! Yeah, you see, the... the P... and the... the HP, like, it works in redness. It's disorienting. And vest. <coughs> Whatever. Whatever, I'm lost. Guess I'll just go down the main way instead of their fancy schmancy balconies. Hey little girl, I saw the theater. Are you lost? No, she's just gonna be a creep and lead you places. Wait, little girl, don't go. Also, if, if she's like ethereal, like I'm just a memory or whatever, then how the hell does she open that door? That's super creepy. Frogs. All right, let's check this new gun out. Cool. Does more damage, and you can shoot more. Okay, oh, even behind. Critical hit. All right. Press the switch, baby. And I'm gonna use the phone. I'll save, baby. All right. Eve! All right, that's creepy. Like at the end of that corridor. Look, I'd be flipping. Especially since she has no, uh, no reflection. Like a vampire. Hold it right there. My body's my body's getting hot again. Nice. <sighs> I was trying to take me on just by herself. Oh, that's gonna be her voice. Well, even if you did have more people with you, they just burn, right? Everyone else, but you, you are. Tell me, Eve, why? Why me? Why am I the only one? You'll find out eventually. Even if you don't understand, don't worry. Your mitochondria will. They've always known. I thought I was going to break up into another sentence. I'm going to give you some time, some time to think, and some time to evolve. And the day shall arrive when you will awaken. Yeah, like if I ever saw that in real life, I'd be flipping.
take you on, bitch. There are two targets. Thanks, Joseph. Well, how about this? P, I'm going to use scan. To scan for his weaknesses. Just like Final Fantasy VIII. Easily tranquilized. Well, that isn't going to help me. I'm going to get his tail. No! Don't reload! Reloading's bad. What are you doing? Okay, I'm kind of scared. I thought he was going to do like an instant death technique for all I know. No, it's just section section of the battle. Oh no, I see. I heard his tail so bad that like it's saying that like he's half done. I'm just totally balls to the wall, even though it's practically like turn taken. Bitch. KV vest. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna equip that. Rather than this pretty little dress, when I will awaken, just tell me what you want, Eve. We're live in front of Carnegie Hall, which has become a scene of complete chaos. Miss, you are the sole survivor of this horrible ordeal, correct? Hi. Until now, this combustion theory has been acknowledged only by occult enthusiasts. Please, just leave me alone. This incident happened to take place on Christmas Eve of all nights. I would like to represent the citizens of the city and interview you exclusively. Enjoy them, my cigarette, babe. Pow, bitch! Show that, sucker. Are you crazy, Jim? Did you get this on tape? Scram, buddy. Daniel. Sorry, I was totally hyped out about that last download. Sorry I'm late, I, uh... Uh, you okay? That was really something that happened back there. Yes, oh, but my date! What happened to her date, anyway? Heard from a cop that your boyfriend ran out of there like a wuss. <laughs> yeah, I would too. Uh, sorry you're... Uh, uh, so your day didn't go well, um... It's not like that. I had him escort me because he kept pestering me for a date. Yeah, but of all places, the opera, there's a story. <laughs> so why the opera, huh? Is that the M thing right now? Saw the ad in the paper, I don't know, it just caught my eye. Don't tell me you were on the, to this case. <laughs> <laughs> you finally got, got some cop instinct in ya, huh? She's too purdy to be a cop. Instinct. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's discriminatory towards lady police officers. Daniel, should you be with your son? It's Christmas Eve. Yeah, but I'm hardworking. This, that. Uh, he knows his dad's a cop. My boy understands. Anyway, to change the subject, I heard things from people who were there. But this is one hell of an incident, huh? Mitochondria. Mitochondria? Symbiosis? When was I in the hospital? 
Hey, I gotta go to sleep. Oh well. Don't blame me after what you've been through that through tonight. It all started with this incident. Six days that were to become a nightmare for all. In Manhattan, at least. People will eventually forget and go on with their lives. But I will never forget it. It was pure terror, but... It was also six days filled with familiar memories. Day two, fusion. Damn straight. And I think that's a good note to stop this episode off on. So long, folks. Boop. <laughs>